and they became friends, much like Trisha does, and blah, 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 and then they say something about her, and then she doesn't trust them anymore. Um, and I can understand why Trisha has no trust in people. I have seen Trisha do some absurd things. I'm not going to lie. That whole thing where she called her mother was absolutely disgusting, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, still don't care. She's just hurting herself and her family. That's none of my business. Even if she puts it online, none of my business. If you're hurting children or trying to get children put into the system because you're pissed off at their mother, like Joy Sparkle, that have already been literally abused on the platform by their father, I might get involved in that. I might. But when you're just some fucking crazy lady who wants attention, I ain't giving it to you. But that's just me. Really, seriously, that's just me. These Trisha haters have been around for a long time. Long time. There are countless threads about Trisha all over the place. Everywhere. Whatever site you can possibly find, there's probably a thread. There are channels upon channels upon channels dedicated to hating Trisha. And some of them even fight. There was a guy that jumped in on it and all the women were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want this guy here talking about Trisha like that. Are you fucking kidding me? You're crazy. Crazy, crazy. About, I don't know, she was abused or whatever. So Trisha went to get her. She jumped in the car. She had a bunch of booze. She was drinking the booze in front of Trisha's kid, saying fucking inappropriate things, just being not cool. And that you can say whatever you want about Trisha. You can speculate on her relationship with her son. But when she's around her daughter, they love each other. They have a loving relationship. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Anyways, so... Oh, oh, Corey's talking about kids. <sighs> Anyways, so... Moving on from that. Trisha said something about it. She was freaking out, crying, got really drunk, making an ass out of herself, and Trisha posted this in her site somewhere. And I'm not saying Trisha is the epitome of an angel or anywhere close. I'm not saying that at all. I'm talking about how these women fucking stalk the fuck out of her. And, like, some of them would pretend to be her friend for a while and learn everything about it and then go right into the Diane and Wendy crowd and tell them everything. And they still use people like that. Oh, look at what Trisha did to this woman. Nah. Nah. Backstabbed. All of them. Backstabbed. You could have just learned your lesson and walked away and not got up on Diane's panel at any time. Right? None of you chose to do that. Oh, a couple of you chose to do that. But um, there are a couple, literally a couple, literally, that have the right to be upset with Trisha. There's not many. Some of you just hate her because you just wanted to have someone to hate. Much like Laura now. Or whoever. Or whoever. Rebecca, someone out, Molly Galoyly for a while, but then you realize she brought you more views than not, so you're back on that fucking boat, which is absolutely disgusting. Can't say more about that woman than she is fucking vile. Um, everyone jumped on Trisha because everyone already hated Trisha in this fucking I'm a veteran's wife group, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I mean, if it's legitimate cool but you know anyways so something happened in this woman's life who was already completely miserable to make her end her own life right so because this happened trisha got all the blame she met trisha being this way right total mess but it was trisha's fault Because, you know, the internet can drive you to suicide. Oh, wait, it can. But, but, what did you want? Retaliation? Because you used that woman's death and used that woman's death and went on and on and on and on about that woman's death and how it's all Trisha's fault for, like, two years straight. Two years straight. Most of the shit's gone, just like Sam said. 
right? So you guys think you can just talk your way out of something else. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but we all saw it. Some of you can pretend to side with it. Some of you can just back up your friends. Some of you can be however you want. But you tortured the fuck out of that woman. You tried to drive her to her own suicide, right? You drove her to the point that she was crazy, putting blood blood all over herself. Then you got what you wanted, right, Diane? So you all got to call CPS. You all got to call the cops, right? And then that didn't work. So you drove her more crazy and you drove her as crazy as you could. And this is a mentally ill woman, self-admittedly, right? And then, oh, oh, I think we can call the cops on this one. So y'all call the cops. Oh, no, didn't work. And I'm not even talking about Dr. Phil because apparently only one person was in on that. Just one person did that. It was a total shock to everyone else. And then they had to send big mouth Wendy because nobody else wanted to go. No fucking kidding. Who the hell would want that as a legacy? Besides Wendy. Fuck. And it's still going on every day. Every time she does anything in the least bit questionable, there y'all are, right? And some of you do it every day still. And you're all still best friends. Diane, Wendy, you love those girls. Um, Do Rizzle and... Uh, all of them that sunshine sally trying to fucking have a fundraiser for sean and mandy to start off their life when all they did was troll the woman sean trolled his own wife fucking filmed her getting arrested pops that shit right online so we could all see it and fucking use it and gif it and jiff it and maim it and meme it and fucking just put it all out there right yeah Yes, yeah, Sean is a piece of shit. No woman should want that as a husband. None. He fucking disregarded his own children. We all know that. And that got blamed on Trisha, too. Oh, it's all Trisha's fault. He doesn't see his kids. No, he's the fucking dad. One more thing to say about this Trisha thing, then I'm done with it. These women's obsession over this one woman came before Dr. Phil. See, Wendy tends to get up tends to get up there and say, Well, she was on Dr. Phil and that brought a whole community together. That's complete bullshit. All of the women who hate Trisha were all here prior to Dr. Phil. I'm just saying. I found out about Trisha about I don't know, a week or two prior to her being on the show. Um because Ron was part of the Joy thing and part of the Trisha Katie thing, and he had mentioned it. And then I looked her up, and I think it was um, that time that her and Sean were fighting in front of the kid, and that's what I saw. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I think either Sean should have went on the show and stood his ground where he he was supposed to be there talking about how Trisha was too addicted to this, right? But he got on there and said, oh, you trolls are so bad. Oh, you, why didn't he just try to convince his wife maybe they're not worthy? You know what I mean? He never did that, ever. He never said, don't address them, honey. They're, they're fucking garbage. Did he? No, he egged that on and egged it on and egged it on and egged it on the whole time, weeding through the mall to find himself a new woman. (laughs) Ha ha ha. I hope you're happy because you got the perfect one. Very suitable. Very suitable, Sean.